Hello, welcome back to the Dublin Railway. Uh, today I'm just going to concentrate on what's new on the railway and what we're looking at is we're looking at a new siding uh, up the south end or down the south end of the layout and uh, this point has been in place for a long long time but it's gone to nowhere and so now there's a little siding there with an isolating rail hooked up to it. Um, we'll get into all of that maybe in another video. Um, initially this siding went all the way to the edge of the board and you can see a notch cut out of the board there to accommodate the the buffers but for reasons that will become apparent later in the video this has had to be shortened because there's something new um, on top of this on the layout and as I say we'll get to that um, also later in the video uh, the new rolling stock and a couple of new locomotives will be displayed along here because it's a convenient place to do that and what I intend to do is basically just show all the new, all the new things, the new features, the new rolling stock, the the new engines, and then at some point make a video about each of them. So that's enough on this siding for the moment. Let's get to the next new thing. Now this is the next new item. This has been printed up for me by a friend. It's done on a 3D printer. He assures me it cost about five dollars in uh, materials to do and what it is is it's his interpretation of an engine shed for this end of the layout now i'm really really happy with it we've got some work to do in it we've got to paint it up we've got to make uh, a couple of little little changes the white thing that looks like an alien off to the side is a water tank and you can see a hole in the uh, in the curved roof of this shed that fits in there um, and as I said earlier um, basically I'm just acquainting you with new items on the layout and we'll uh, come back and we'll do uh, videos on each of each of these um, so the uh, the next thing is to get this all together get it painted up a um, little bit of sanding um, the colors will be Hornby double O colors so the water tower will be in roughly the same color as the water cranes that you see on Hornby double O layouts the roof of this will be gray and um, the sides will be that mustardy mustardy Hornby double O yellow as best I can find okay on to something else okay other new items my new N2 this one is in pretty nice condition, and this is the uh, this is the little locomotive that <laughs> inspired this siding, um, which we're calling Oscar's siding after after my friend who decided to install it. Moving along, we have a non Hornby double O item, a Trix warship. This is set up for three rail running. At the moment, it's not a great runner on this track um, for reasons to do with the original geometry of three rail track but I'm hopeful um, I have another one in pieces and um, I'm hoping that I can make um, make a, uh, a well running one out of the two anyway more of this another time uh, the other two purchases well it was one purchase in two parts um, southern region super detail coaches which I'm really pleased to have I have another three of these on the way, I think. Um, there's a confession. Um, I got these at what I consider to be a, a really good price. They're in lovely condition. They run beautifully behind um, the bullied Pacifics. And um, I'm really looking forward to putting these through their paces as a full train. As I said, um, we'll concentrate more on these in another video. Now coming down to the other end of the layout, I think you've already seen that I installed a second platform along here. Um, it's really improved the look of the area of this layout. I'm not going to dwell on that terribly much. It's there, it's something new. And at the northern end of the layout, what you can see 
there's a parapet wall that's been installed to hide some fairly ugly, uh, an ugly edge of some um, MDF and a new tunnel mouth for the two and three rail line. Um, that's new, it's all in one piece and uh, I'll go into how I built that another day. One more thing to see. And this is the last new item on the layout since uh, since my last video, which is this double tunnel mouth made out of MDF, and it just clips on to to the boards and in under the bridge, as you can see, um, it's tidied up this this part of the layout, which is uh, leading round to the north end that you just saw with the uh, the new parapet wall.